Three out of every four new or emerging infectious diseases come from animals. Whether people eat bats or pigs, chimpanzees or chickens, our broken relationship with animals is driving a global health crisis. In the midst of this pandemic, our blame quickly snaps to the wet markets of China with their seemingly strange food animals. As fear escalates and xenophobia catches fire, we mistakenly substitute danger with the unfamiliar. And in doing so, the greater pandemic threat, the one created by our own fraught food system, dissolves into the shadows. If you think wet markets should be banned, there are even better reasons to declare a moratorium on factory farms. Raising sick, drugged animals in crowded buildings isn't efficient. It's a time bomb. The CDC maintains a watch list of viruses of special concern, and most of them have emerged from industrial poultry farms. Some of these viruses are magnitudes worse than coronavirus. The CDC reports a 60% mortality rate for the H5N1 avian influenza. And unlike coronavirus, it doesn't spare children. We are trading our lives for cheap chicken. This is why alternatives to factory farms are so important. It's not a question of how we make ourselves safer. We know. The only question is will we?